Beatrice Bunny's Fabulous Adventure, Chapter Number Two, In Search of an Adventurous Companion. Beatrice was overjoyed. Surely one of her sisters and brothers would accompany her on her journey. She went from one to the other, asking if they would go with her into the forest. And one by one, they all shook their whiskers, no. They were all content hiding behind bushes, wiggling under ferns, overturning rocks, and rolling over and over in the tall grass. Beatrice felt sad and so alone. Slowly, she hopped back to the big white pine tree, sat beneath its branches, and began to cry. Not a loud blubbering cry, but small sniffles with tears that flowed from her eyes and dripped down to her whiskers. As she sat there all alone feeling sad, a voice from within the forest said, Why are you crying, little bunny? Realizing she wasn't alone, Beatrice wiped the tears from her eyes and whiskers and called out, Who is there? Who is hiding in the forest? Hiding is one of the things I do best. We who are sly and clever know sometimes it is best to see but not be seen, to hear and not be heard. But I can hear you, but can't see you. And slowly, slinking out from behind a tree, a beautiful red fox with a bushy tail made her way to the forest edge. Beatrice sat in wonder. Never had she seen such a bright red furry creature before. The fox sat down before her under the same branch and curled her long tail about her. Little bunny, what is your name? And as I just a moment ago asked, why are you crying? Beatrice finished drying her whiskers and said, my name is Beatrice Bunny and I'm crying because my mother will not let me walk in the forest alone. Ah, oh, your mother is very wise. My name is Felicia Fox, and I live in the forest. What a pretty name, said Beatrice. Yes, it's my own special name. It means fortunate, one who is lucky by being clever. It is a good name for a foxy forest dweller. What does your name mean, Beatrice? I don't know, she said. I did not know that names have meanings. Oh, all names have meanings, said the fox. It is important that each of us knows what our name means so we can be our true self. This is the end of chapter two. For more adventures, go to chapter three.